Hi everyone, it's Carrie with Happy Fish Tarot. So last week I made a video asking for some feedback on the content that I've been putting out so far on YouTube and on my blog. And I want to start this video by just thanking everybody so much who commented and emailed me. It really meant a lot to me to hear from you guys and I got a lot of really good food for thought. So this week I want to talk with you a little bit about my journey with tarot so far. So kind of how I got into tarot and what's led me to the place where I am now. The first time I remember being introduced to tarot was when I was in college. So my best friend and roommate at the time was really into tarot and I remember her giving me readings and she'd be sort of flipping through the little booklet and I don't remember a lot about the details of the readings but I never forgot the picture on the Four of Cups. It seemed like that card came up in every reading she did for me. Um, and then she was really involved in our student government on our college campus so she helped organize a Halloween party and she brought on a professional tarot reader. So that was the first time I had a reading from a professional. I remember I was wearing a pirate costume because it was Halloween and I remember talking to this tarot reader and telling him that I was planning to major in early childhood education. I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher and he looked at the cards and he told me that he thought I would end up changing my major and that for a career I would end up doing something much more original and creative. So looking back at that now, in hindsight, it, it seems like he was pretty spot on the money with that one. So those were kind of fun experiences. I didn't really think too deeply about, about that at the time. Um, life continued to go on. I graduated college. I got a job. And then um, probably about five years ago now, I found myself in the middle of what you could call a quarter life crisis. So I was in this phase where I really didn't know where I wanted to go from, from here. Um, I'd, I'd always kind of known what the next step was in my life up until that point. So, you know, when I was in high school, I knew that I'm going to go to college. And while I'm in college, I know that I'm going to graduate and get a job. So I think this happens to a lot of people. You reach that point where you, um, you know, you become a grown up and, and then all of a sudden you think to yourself, oh my goodness, what happens from here? And there was a lot of kind of discord in my inner world at that time. There were certain things that I knew I wanted to do, yet somehow I always felt paralyzed from actually doing them. So I really wanted to write, but I wasn't writing. Um, I really wanted to get more creative in general, but I just felt really listless. Honestly, I would go to work and I would come home and I just didn't have any energy to do anything besides sit on the couch and eat ice cream and watch TV. So I was feeling very, very stuck and very stagnant, um, really unpleasant feeling, very eight of swords type experience that I was going through. I felt really like something was just missing from my life. I don't know how else to explain it. I just, I didn't feel right. I felt, I remember thinking at the time that the whole world seemed like a big plate of mashed potatoes. And it seems kind of funny to say that now, but it, it was really just this feeling like there wasn't any magic in my life. There wasn't any vitality. There wasn't any excitement. Everything just seemed really bland and everything just, I just felt kind of this permeating low grade misery just following me everywhere I went. I started journaling a lot during this phase of my life and I think that that was the first thing that helped kind of unlock some of the doors to start to move me forward a little bit. And when I started getting really more into journaling, simultaneously with that, I started getting these little kind of intuitive hunches that would guide me towards certain things. One of those intuitive hunches came up and told me to buy a tarot deck, which was completely out of the blue. I hadn't really given much thought to tarot since the experiences a few years ago, 
but suddenly I had this urge and I'm not exaggerating when I call it an urge. It was really like, I need to buy a tarot deck now. And I didn't know why, but I decided to go ahead and do it. So that was when I bought my first tarot deck, which was this one. As I began to study tarot and read books about tarot and do daily draws for myself, tarot just seemed to line up perfectly with all of the other shifts I was going through in my life. So around that same time, I had also started working with The Artist's Way, which is a, a book and a creative recovery course by Julia Cameron. And I also, around that time, was introduced via my husband to the works of Joseph Campbell as well as Carl Jung. So I'd just been introduced to these concepts of the collective unconscious and of the hero's journey and everything that I was seeing in tarot lined up perfectly with with those things so there was kind of this perfect storm of stuff going on in my life where all of a sudden instead of having kind of that really stuck sort of eight of swords feeling I started feeling movement and seeing potential and I was slowly unfurling the binds that had been kept around me for so long. Tarot was something that I connected with in a really deep way. I almost can't explain it, but if you are someone who is also very into tarot, you probably know what I mean. There was just this deep part of me that just recognized the patterns in the cards and it just, it made sense and it made me feel like I could see the world more clearly and it made me feel like I could really get to know myself on a deeper level as well. I talked about this in a video a little while back, but one of the things that was so powerful for me about discovering tarot is that tarot gave a voice to um, what you could call my essential self, so the deeper part of me, um, the part of me that's really embedded uh, within my soul. So using tarot, I was able to give a voice to this part of me that I had previously, without even knowing I was doing so, been really repressing. So I began to kind of slowly uncover the things that were not of my true nature, and I began to really kind of move more into being more fully myself. And as I did that, everything changed. The world felt vibrant again. I didn't have that <laughs> mashed potatoes feeling. I felt like there's so much possibility and there's so much light and I felt really excited for the first time in ages. It's now been about five years since I got my first deck and I really truly believe, I know it sounds a little cheesy, but I really believe that I was guided to tarot for a reason. I feel so much freer now than I did five years ago. One of the biggest things I've learned from tarot is that life is a constant process of emerging. I don't look back on where I was five years ago and feel that now I've arrived at a destination, but I do feel that I have a deeper sense of self-knowledge and I do feel that I have a deeper sense of connection with my life and with parts of myself that were previously abandoned. I also love that there's always something more to learn about tarot. There's just endless books and videos and everyone has their own kind of different perspective and their different slants on how they view tarot. It's something that I think I will be immersed in for the rest of my life because it just, it feels like I've come home when I work with tarot and I I'm very grateful that I was guided to this path that I find myself on now. So that's kind of just a little bit about my journey with tarot. Um, I'm excited to keep going with it from here and I hope to connect more with you guys as we move forward together in this great world of tarot.
so thank you so much for watching I have some things planned in the future for YouTube as well as for my blog that I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to be getting more into talking about some of my philosophies on tarot, so hopefully I'll get started on that pretty soon. So please stay tuned, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already, and remember you can visit me at happyfishtarot.com. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.